Wukon Weekly, the Free Switch community's official web show. Tune in every week for updates in the Free Switch project, interesting presentations, and interact with members of the Free Switch community. Wukon Weekly is brought to you by Free Switch Solutions, the officially endorsed consulting firm of the Free Switch project. Free Switch Solutions solves problems so you can focus on your business. Visit FreeSwitch.com for more information. The KluCon WebRTC and Telephony Developers Conference. KluCon is held every August in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Meet the developers of all your favorite open source telephony projects, make the connections you need to meet your business goals, and see the latest and greatest technology in WebRTC and telephony. Visit KluCon.com for more details. <coughs> All right, guys, welcome to ClueCon Weekly. Today is September the 14th, and we've got Brian West will be joining us shortly to uh, show off a new uh, technology preview of uh, Free Switch Inverto Communicator. So you guys stand by for that. Uh, Kathleen, how are you doing today, ma'am? I'm doing really well. Um, this week in the code, mod HTTP cache uh, saw some improvements and now works with Azure Blob Service. Um, and then there were some minor updates and improvements to Mod Kazoo. So uh, go check that out. Um, also, for the, those ClueCon 2016 attendees out there, please check your inbox and in spam filters. Um, we sent out a survey that we would really appreciate if you could take a few minutes to fill out. Um, this is what we use to gauge our conference and make changes for next year. So if you have an opinion, please let us know. Just let us know what you thought of it. Um, just a few questions. Um, and mark your calendars. The bug hunt has been moved to Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, this is the time to ask about any bugs or issues you may be having in person. Uh, Italo, Brian, myself, and often many other members of the team are in there. So uh, mark those down and join us. Just dial 888 at conference.freeswitch.org to, uh, to call into that. Uh, 2 p.m. Central Time uh, on Tuesdays. Um, and then if anyone you would know or uh, if you yourself would like to be a guest on ClueCon Weekly um, or if there's any concept or, or anything like that you would like us to demonstrate for you, uh, reach out to me at Kathleen at FreeSwitch.org uh, and we can see about making that happen. Otherwise, uh, stay connected. Join our HipChat channels, HipChat.FreeSwitch.org, uh, IRC, Pound FreeSwitch, like us on Facebook for Free Switch and ClueCon, and follow us on Twitter uh, at Free Switch and at ClueCon, and subscribe to uh, this YouTube channel, and you'll get to see all the videos, demos, guests, and updates. So um, be sure to head over to FreeSwitch.com to learn more about Free Switch support as well. And I believe that's it for me, Ken. Uh, cool. Thank you very much, Kathleen. Uh, coming up, we got Brian West, and many of you guys know Brian. He's been uh, with the Free Switch team since the very beginning, and uh, we uh, here at the Free Switch team have been working on a new uh, technology demonstrator. And Brian is going to come here and join us, tell you a little bit about it, and show it off to you. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Um, also, I'd like to remind everybody that um, Kathleen, Sharon, and myself will be at Astracon. Uh, September 26th through the 29th, that's going to be held at the Renaissance Phoenix Glendale Hotel and Spa. Um, you can stop by our booth um, and also see this demonstration in person and get yourself a copy of it on USB key. Um, so let's get uh, the demonstration started here. Uh, so we've published an image up on files.freeswitch.org. I've pre-downloaded it onto my system. You can get the link to that OVA file in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email um, Kathleen at freeswitch.org or Brian at freeswitch.org if you see any mistakes in where those are located. Um, so we're going to import this image. So we'll open up file import appliance. And here we go. While that's importing, um, we're, we're trying to lower the barrier of entry for end users that would like to demonstrate and or learn about free switch technology. The, the, the new video elements that we have with WebRTC uh, seem to have a larger barrier of entry. 
Uh, it's very prone to mistakes. Um, even myself can make mistakes setting this stuff up. Uh, so it's not easy. So we're trying to lower that bar, get things documented better, make sure the configurations are better. Um, so if, if you guys run into any problems, don't hesitate to, to get in touch with us. Um, so let's get this imported and started. It's almost complete. And here we go. Now we have our VM imported. Just check over everything here and hit start. Now you may see something like this pop up depending on what OS or system this is built on. Just change network settings. Those look correct and click OK. And now we're going to boot into Debian. Now this will come up with a default username and password, the default username root, and the password is password. We highly recommend you change that as soon as you get into the shell. So we're going to log in as root and password. Let's make sure I spell that correctly. Um, update passwords is the command you would type. Um, also notice, it lets you know not to use this in production. This is in no way a production VM. Um, if by chance this happens to slip into production, you may want to reconsider some other life choices because this is definitely not a production grade setup. It's to demonstrate uh, free switch inverto. Okay, now we have our passwords changed on the system so that nobody can get in there um, on your network and, and mess with it but you. Um, so now we need to generate our certificates for Virto. We've included a, certi a certificate, a cert generator script that will do this for you. You execute the, the script and it will generate the certificates, put them in all the appropriate places and restart free switch. All right, now we're back to where we need to be. So. You'll visit the IP address of the VM slash VC, and in this particular case, it is 192.168.1.79, which would have been presented to you during login as well when you first logged in to uh, the VM. So we're going to proceed. It's unsafe. That's fine. We're, we're only testing. We're going to put our name and our email address in, and we're going to log in. We'll select our camera. You notice it has all your cameras, let you demonstrate uh, you know, which one you want to select, your microphone choices. You click Save. Now you're presented with the uh, dial pad. By default, in this setup, you can dial 35,000. It'll take you into a video conference. It'll be playing hold music. And the video will function. And that is pretty much it. That will allow you to get up and running, uh, see how it functions, um, get you from zero to a functional system in a short period of time. And if you find any issues uh, and need to report any bugs, you can report those at freeswitch.org slash Jira. The link for that will be down below as well. Um, if you want to hop on HipChat, the, the freeswitch channel on hipchat.freeswitch.org uh, to interact with us as well, that's an awesome place to get assistance with setting this up if you want to tweak it or run into any issues. And that's pretty much it, Ken. All right, cool, Brian. Hey, um, Brian, <clears throat> one thing that I noticed on here and, and uh, that we might want to point out, um, when you're importing the VM, uh, there's an option, there's a little check mark down there that says uh, reinitialize the MAC addresses on uh, when you're importing the VM. Uh, for guys that are trying to run multiple copies of this, um, if you don't check that, then all your VMs are going to have the same MAC addresses. And... Uh, and that's not really something that we can do about uh, in the image. So if you're going to run more than one copy of it for playing with, make sure you check that box or they'll all fight over the same IP address with the DHCP server. And, uh, of course, you know, throwing the same MAC address out there on the wire. So you'll want to check that off. 
Um, <clears throat> but that's uh, a good otherwise. tip. Yeah, that's so tip. big tip there. And uh, but otherwise, the only thing I've got to say is go to files.freeswitch.org, get the link out of below, and uh, you know you too can uh, download this and play with it. It is up there now. Uh, we'll be doing some more updates on this thing most likely, so uh, make sure you get the latest version. They are version tagged uh, in the name of the image for you. Hey right, guys, so uh, coming up uh, next week, we've got some uh, fun stuff coming up for you, and we'll be back here at one excuse me at one p.m. Eastern on the twenty-first. So we'll see you guys then. Have any questions? Uh, join us on the mailing list at list.freeswitch.org. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. That's uh, right there by all the notes where you can find the links for this stuff. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next week.